Hey, what's cracking, people? This is Neko Espirito. I'm here to bring you another arena run. We're gonna see a re arena run, something like that. Bring another arena run. Let's see what we're going to uh, choose this time. Uh, let's go. Let's go ahead and do Druid. I love to play Druid. Lots of really strong cards. The Warlock is fun, but let's go Druid. Yeah, this is a pretty easy choice. You can't always count on getting healing, especially in arena drafts. Angry Chicken is just bad. You need to buff him. Keeper is amazing. Two damage or silence. Great. I, Unless you have a really funny spell power deck, I recommend highly to avoid Moonfire. I'm not big on cards that just buff. I prefer a minion that throws in a buff or like a minion like Keeper of the Grove. You get a body and your choice of two good effects. Um, Mark can be really good, but let's go ahead and go with Princess of Elune, so we have a big body. Let's go Raging Morgan of the three. I like him a lot, does some cool stuff. Um, not big on Rifleman. <sighs> Taunt is nice, especially in Arena, but five for a five four. Uh, there's a lot of other Taunt choices we'd rather have. Let's go Engineer just for the card draw. Swipe, gotta do swipe. Other two aren't bad, but swipe. So good. Um, Brewmaster can do some really fun things, and 5 4 for 4 is not bad at all, cost wise. Um, he'd work with Keeper and Novice. Starfire is nice just for really strong removal, and you get card draw. Let's go with that. Just, just a strong spell. I almost always recommend avoiding Silverback Patriarch. Always. Um, if for no other reason, then there's so many better taunts. Healing is nice, but uh, it, it doesn't give you a lot of mileage. Spiteful Smith, we're not going to equip any weapons, but a 4-6 for 5 is pretty solid. We're just going to go with that. A uh, couple choices here. Really strong card draw. But I hate it because, you know, you play it turn 5 and you can't play anything else. A 4-3 for 3 is pretty good value. Questing Adventure has some real cool combo abilities. And we have some low cost, so let's let's try Questing Adventure. Let's see. Definitely Harvest Column. One of the best cards in the game. Uh, Defender Vargas. Okay, yeah, these two are situational. We're going to go Defender. He's really strong. Um, you know... A 2-3 two, for 2 is cool. Mad Bomber can be early removal. We have pretty strong creatures, so let's... Yeah, let's let's take a roll of the die. Let's do Mad Bomber. Uh, I've used this to some good effect, but let's go with Direwolf Alpha just for the quick buff. Storm and Champion, so we have a big hit. Definitely. Wind Fury could be interesting. Definitely not this. No Murlocs. You don't want to build around like Murlocs or Beasts or whatever in Arena with drafting. Um, so it's between the Farseer and the Alpha. I'm going to go... Hmm. I'm going to go with the Alpha. Just because it's immediate boost to its friends out here. I'm going to go Farseer. I've learned to love this guy. 3-3 three, three for 3 is really good. And that health can be a huge saver. For you or your minion. Um, solid mid-range option. Not amazing. You don't know how many spells you're going to get in Arena. I mean, we have Swipe, Starfire. That's about it. Um, so we'll avoid him. 2-1 for 1 stealth. I mean, he can just pick off any 2 toughness creature that comes along. But we have a pretty decent early game. Let's go with the Divine Shield. Oh, this guy is great. He is very good. 4-4 uh, four, four charge or 4-6 taunt. But I love swipe. Swipe is just such good removal. I can't ignore it. These three all have their really good situations. Jungle Panther is very cool um, for taking out bigger threats than it. And it can just sit in stealth and wait. Cult Master, if we drop it when we have a full board and we trade a bunch of stuff with their creatures... And we're pretty creature heavy right now. Um, that's good. Soul of the Forest is a little situational. You want to have at least uh, two or three creatures out. But boy is it nice when that happens. And 
you really get a lot of value. Let's just go card draw with Cult Master and it's a big body. I almost always recommend avoiding Footman unless you're really desperate. I mean, a 1-2 for 1 doesn't go very far. Uh, turn 2 people start playing, you know, 2 power creatures, so he doesn't really block off that much or trade well. Um, Crocolis 2-3 for 2 is pretty cool, but you know what? We need some you know, bigger bodies, and it's looking like we might be able to flood the field pretty well. So let's go with the Warlord. Uh, ooh, really cool removal. I like Bite quite a bit. Um, Mer we're just going to avoid this the Murloc card. And the 4-2 with Charge. That I've seen that do some real quick good damage, and maybe it can buff with some other creatures. Let's, let's do the Golem. I think I'm tempted to do the tiger. This is cool, but they're so frail that they just drop really fast. And that one damage can be nice, but I mean, we have our hero power for that. So let's go with the tiger. Nice big threat. Oh, man. We, well, we almost could have drafted Murloc this time. Um, we have two swipes already. It's almost, it's one of those cards you can't have enough of almost, but Chill when Yeti is so good. Especially in Arena. We're going to go with the Yeti. Uh, Shield Bear, actually not bad. I mean, he, he's not going to trade with anything. But the fact that he can hold off a lot of creatures early on, if you're lucky, I mean, he can do pretty well. That's two creatures touching down fast. The 2-4 is actually pretty pretty good. The 2-1 doesn't trade very well. Uh, and then the Raptor, which is just a 3-2 for 2. Um... Not a lot of early choices, so let's let's just do the Raptor and, and hopefully get some good trades in there. Now this is really interesting. Um, Innervate can do some crazy stuff, like a turn one Yeti with the coin, or I mean, take your pick. There's all these you know things you can drop quick. Naturalize. It's one mana, but it's definitely an end game card because. If someone has a big taunt, you can just kill it. It's pretty much the only just straight up kill spell you have as a druid. Um, or another cult master, which we're pretty heavy at the four curve. Let's go innervate, because that can pull out some of those high costs. Um, not a fan of the grunt. Not a big fan of the torn warrior. A little more survivability. And enrage is cool, but he just doesn't trade well. Most twos, two drops kill him. Um... And another big hitter might work well. Let's go with the Tiger. Definitely Druid of the Claw now. Priestess is pretty cool. That we just took out of, you know, necessity, but that has some really cool uh, versatility. Uh, not normally a fan of buffs, but Mark of the Wild can really make the difference. It can really turn things around. Raging Worgen, really cool though. Um, that's just no, not at all. I'm really tempted to go with that. Our threes are pretty heavy, and this could... Mm, between these two. Uh, since we're pretty good on three drops, I think we're going to take Mark and see if we can buff something nice. Wild Growth, pretty cool, but you really want to build around it. Senjin... He's just great. Big body, good cost. Comes down when threats start coming down. He trades really well. I'm going to take him over Soul of the Forest. Uh, Berserker does pretty good. Ghoul can do some good things, but it's very situational. Uh, it dies. Three toughness is okay, but it can die pretty quick. I like Berserker a lot, but Loot Hoarder and some early card draw would be nice. So we'll go Loot Hoarder. Alarmobot, only... He's terrible. Only if you have a lot of bombs. It's really a constructed card, even then it's iffy. That's dependent on spell damage. Let's just go with the Nourish. Maybe late game card draw. And here we go. Here's the deck. We'll see how it goes. Um, some good early pressure. Some quick damage. Um, some good value cards. And then Removal, not too bad. Two swipes. We got the uh, not the big starfire there. We'll, we'll see how this goes. Melfior.
Centurion versus Rexa. Let the hunt begin. I must protect the wild. Ooh, I do like Mark, but you know, let's ditch it. Try to get something early. Uh, same with Stranglethorn. Maybe questing adventure we could work in, and we'll hold on a swipe because it's just very good removal. So, just hoping for some early. Ooh, okay. So we could. Oh wow, we could turn one him. My greeting. That's an interesting Greetings, thought. Oh man. Traveler. Oh my god. Um. No, let's. We'll hold off. I think I have an idea for a turn to play. Ooh, oh, that's kind of grungy. Um, Give me a sure, let's go for it. So we're kind of going all in with this. Uh, we threw out a lot of stuff really quickly in the hopes that this will work. Um, hyena. Could hit him, and then he may have removal. Ah, uh, ooh, this is... Okay. That's alright. Um, let's see. And bam! We're going all in here. Oh, oh boy. So we have some good early pressure with this guy. Uh, let's see how much more we can buff him, perhaps? I don't know. Quest accepted. This, <laughs> this could be a really interesting uh, turn of events. Let's see how quickly we can get him going here. Well, damn it. That was fun while it lasted. Oh, well. Um... Well, we got removal at least. Tempted to just take out that ooze, but he's probably going to have to combine it with some other cards to take him down, so that four to the face can make this really threatening. Oh my gosh, let's see here. Um... We're, we're just going balls to the wall here. I think we can have Fatal next turn, especially with this charge. We got the stealth. That was a really strong opening. We lucked out. Oh, he, he drafted the combo. Come on. Does he have any other pieces here? Well, we'll see. What a joker. Wow, he, he got some cool stuff going, but it's not going to make a difference. Maybe. Oh, yep. Yeah. No, we got fatal. Wait, we got fatal. Where shall I strike? For the wild. Oh wow, wow. That's uh, that's a pretty quick match there. Turn seven, he's down. I love it. Wow, what a run! And he had a lot of threats on the field right there. So. That's uh that's one way to start it off. versus Uther. I will fight Damn, that was an opener. <laughs> wow. Uh let's stick with the tiger, let's stick with the worgen and of course swipe will come in handy. Okay, not a bad opening at all. So we can do something turn 2. Yep. My greetings. So this is annoying. I mean, we can kill it, but it's just annoying the fact that we have to waste turn two hitting something, losing some life, and not getting any board presence at all. So just kind of sucks right there. Now, if he has no option but to reinforce here, that'd be great, because then we could drop the worgen. Nope, he's going to get something cool. Hmm. I'm thinking the Worgen. 
Yeah, definitely. Now the worg, and I didn't think about this, it might combo really well with Mark of the Wild if we can swing into that. Unless he has an answer, but at three mana he shouldn't. Paladin removal spells kind of start. Oh, that oh, that kind of sucks. Yeah, it really sucks. Oh well. And of course, Yeti comes down as a great four drop. He's gonna force him to lose this guy with whatever he has in his hand. Yeah. Have a couple options, maybe. Um... I wasn't the biggest fan of that because he's probably going to get rid of this here. Then I'll be limited. Don't mess with Tusker. Okay, this isn't too bad. Yeah, this works out actually really well, so he's going to lose a lot of material here. So he lost a lot on that. Uh, he just threw out a bunch of minions. You have to be careful about what you toss out. He could have used his power and saved some cards in hand, but now he's... Uh, we're about even on life. Yeah, I mean, he's, yeah, he's in a bad way. Alright, so we're actually looking really good. We're going to be able to thump that. Um, maybe put out the tiger. I'm really enjoying this tiger. He's great in arena. Um, oh god, please tell me you don't have fatal. Please tell me you're just complimenting me. Well played. Uh, but I, oh god, next turn we'll be able to do Druid of the Claw into Arcane Golem for eight mana. That's four, nine, third. No, that's not gonna be enough. Well, we have a couple interesting things we could do. We could swing with these two guys and taunt one of them. That might be the best. Hmm, I wonder. Hopefully that's... A Good play. We'll have to see how it fans out, pans out, jams out, whatever. Some something. Uh, it's, I hate leaving now. Ooh. Well, he'll be able to get rid of that. Well, crap. He'll get rid of both. And this is the cool thing. At this point, that downside really isn't a downside. I mean, he has next to nothing in hand, so we'll just we'll swing away with this guy. So this deck actually has a lot of aggro tendencies. I mean, a lot of a lot of damage can come out of nowhere with this. So pretty happy with the build. Well Please don't have fatal. Come on, don't, don't. Oh, son of a bitch. Oh my god, of course. And I kind of overextended my hand there, so. We're 
We're going to try to establish board control a little bit here, I guess. Um, that trades really well, unfortunately. And he'll drop me down to two. If he has a Consecrate, another one, or... Okay. Reporting for duty. All right, so I can deal five, drops him down to eight. That's eight plus five down to three. Oh my god, I don't think I have Fatal here. Oh my god, really? Um, okay, silence. Trade. Um, I think we can... Seven damage. That makes 10, that makes 12. Oh my god, one short, really? Well, we have to deal with what's in hand. Remember, kill for loss. I must safeguard the left. Hey, give me that! Give me a quest. So, unless he gets some shit-eating grin lucky draw here, freaking heart of the cards bullshit, then uh, we'll be good. Come on, come on. Be nothing. Be nothing. Oh my god. Oh my god. I don't believe it. And out of nowhere, draws the perfect card for him to win on his little shitty 1-1, one -one, just a buff. And, okay, I'm going to end the video here. We're going to continue when I uh, calm down a little bit because of that uh, shit. Well, I get lucky sometimes like that, but that's still bullshit. So, we'll continue with the next episode of Druid Hearthstone Arena with Neko Espirito. About to tear his hair out. Love it. And thanks for watching, guys. See you soon.